Hello and welcome to The Drift. It is my pleasure to show you today some of the amazing work that God is doing right here at Christian Revival Church London. We continued our sermon series, Multiply. We gathered together in home churches all across the UK and Europe to celebrate Pentecost Sunday. And Pastor Tabo explained the power of our faith through the Abrahamic covenant. God's plan has always been to reconcile man to himself. And through the covenant, God made a promise to man and to himself that he would restore us to our original purpose through Abraham's seed, Jesus Christ. We obtain this covenant through faith. This knowledge comes through hearing, accepting, and believing the gospel message. The reproduction and multiplication of the family of God can only be achieved through us sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. We had a conversation with some of our church members on how this series and online church experience has impacted them. There was one thing that really challenged me the most as a believer as we've been listening to this Multiply series. I would say that it's our call to be witnesses, be witnesses of what God has done, be witnesses of what God is going to do, and to be more effective as we reach out and engage with people in the world. It's made me realize that multiplication isn't just a good suggestion from God, it's actually an expectation. And knowing that, it's changed my whole paradigm on it. I've started thinking of ways how I can implement this practically. And so even in, you know, in our church, we have things called home cells, so small home groups. God's really laid in my heart to practically plan and strategize how I can grow these home cells. And ultimately, you know, spread, you know, the, the fire of God, you know, across, across this country. It's like we ask for blessings and, you know, we all do it. We say, oh, bless me, God, bless me, God. But what is the purpose behind that blessing? What do you want the blessing for? Because I would truly believe we are called to be a blessing to other people. So whatever God gives to me, I'm meant to share with other people. And that was very eye-opening. It was a reminder of actually God is very faithful with every single promise that he has made from what he promised Abraham to, to Noah. It just reminded me actually God has promised me so much in my life and that I need to receive that and take it and pray over it as well and just trust God in those things. Today's message really struck me, especially when he was talking about Abraham and how Abraham just believed what God said. What God says is the truth. He is no man that he shall lie. So that is really just, just to stand in faith and just know that God said it, it's going to be done because he, his promises are truth. For me personally, what really got me is stepping out in faith. Um, so God has made all these things available. The covenant is there. Um, it's, it's almost it's my inheritance, but I need to step out in faith to obtain the blessings of that. It, it just made me more aware of like the greatness that God has for us and to be prepared for it. Having church online has been quite an interesting thing. I would say that the real positives that I've taken from this is that I've seen more sermons than ever before. I've taken better notes. I've been able to see the study notes and the Bible passages and you know to pause things and even rewind things and review things. And with all the, the chat and the interaction, that's been really fun as well. And I've also been able to engage with our wider CRC family. I've also seen more visitors uh, coming into like the home cell on Sundays literally people around the world people across the country that never otherwise be able to attend a physical church but i've seen an increase in, in personal visitors that i've been able to acquire and now we're just really praying and trusting that god who's begun a good work in these people's lives will continue it and bringing them to full salvation and, and get them planted somehow you kind of realize that you can do these things and it's just as powerful doing things online you don't have to be there in person to have an impact on home cell and we've, we've seen more and more people, especially just visitors who are probably not as willing to come to church, but are more willing now because they need something to do and they, they have a hunger to actually hear God's word, especially in this time. During this whole pandemic, you know, this this online streaming has been a real blessing, um, an extra, a huge blessing because, you know, we can kind of feel disconnected to church in a way. Just seeing how everything's organized online, you know, the chats there, you know, the countdown, everything just, 
reconnects us to church. It always makes me feel like I'm I'm connected to church still. To have that constant, to have something you know there that is always keeping me connected. To still hear the teachings, to still learn more about God, being able to to stay connected even though I can't physically see them. But you know, you know, you're not alone. You know, you're not alone in this. I may sit alone in my living room, but I'm just not alone because the family is still available and ready to to help each other so yeah that's been great it's really helped in a sense of reaching out to my world you know like i i i personally myself have uh had many more visitations and salvations and it just even enhances my faith um to see that you know god's god started a good work and he will surely finish it like you know like we will not be suppressed and will not be silenced and the movement will never stop so that that's that's the joy to see people come in you know in in numbers in this online season it's an incredible feeling knowing that i'm part of something huge that started way way back with adam to noah and then abraham and king david and solomon and jesus that i am as a child of god and part of this history God planned in advance what we were going to do. He's prepared good work for us to do. And I'm really, really excited that as we press in and know him more, God multiplies and increases favor and faith in our lives. But we're going to see incredible end time revival. I really believe that. And I'm grateful for these sermons that are stirring us to believe for bigger and bigger things. Here at Christian Revival Church, we have a vision to build one church in many locations, both nationally and internationally. And we would love to connect you with the vision. So please do get in touch with us on social media. That's all we've got time for today. We hope you have a great week.